What's up, peeps? Alex be here today, and I don't know if I've told you this um, on my other video, but I um, I want an item on eBay, and it's an HP computer. I'm going to show it to you and what plans I have because it is Sunday night right now. It is well, actually no, it's Monday because it's 12:13 a.m. But um. I'm going to show you the computer itself and the plans I have for it because it's running XP with 2 gigs of RAM and an 80 gig hard drive which is pretty obsolete so I'm going to show you what I have plans <laughs> I'm going to show you the plans I have for it so let's check that out shall we okay people so we're here in my uh, Windows desktop and we're going to go into Chrome and we're going to open up eBay I wish I had the iPhone 6. I put some load up there. Alright, so I had bought the I just literally bought it. Cost 20 29 bucks out of my wallet because of tax. And if we look down here. Um, it's an HP DC 5100, which if we look this up really quick, we'll see. While I wait for that to load, um, small form factor as you can see here. It's got a 2.8 gigahertz Pentium 4 with an 80 gigabyte drive. And if we look up here, we're going to pull up the specs. Alright, so here's a quick specs apparently. So, what do we got? I want to see what kind of process we're going to handle. Penny and four, penny and four. There's that. Maybe I can put in a um, penny and D if it can handle it because I don't know the socket. Um, it'll come with Windows XP apparently. Yeah, I actually came with Linux. Could have came with Linux. Or Windows 2000. Wow. Oh, it's serial ATA, so that's good. Um, This is the one that's in it. And... Uh, modem. Oh, I like... Look at the graphics. Those are good graphics. Oh my god. Alright, so it didn't come with any of this as far as I know. But I have a copy. Alright, so let's see here. Penny and Born Celeron OS Windows XP chipset, which is the Intel 915GV, which has a good reputation, I think. And 4 gigabytes of RAM, which is perfect because I haven't I can uh, fill that up. Uh, PCI slots too. Oh, perfect. I can throw in a couple of things. Alright, those are just the dimensions. It's got an 80 gigabyte standard drive. I know that. It doesn't come with anything here. Uh, nothing came with that. No. Alright, what does it say here? EDR2, which is perfect. I have lots of that in my house. SFF. Alright, let's. This is mine. Diskette. Alright, media one. Storage drive A. Alright. Serial ATA drives. Okay. Uh, perfect. So this will be perfect. 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 Alright. What else? 240 watt supply. Oh, that's always good. All right, but let's look at over here. I want to actually look at the ports on here. I'm going to take it. This is the one I've got here. So view image. Any M4. All right, that should be good. If it has DVI out on my model, I may be lucky. Oh, yeah. Reset. There. All right. Okay, so as I said, 2GB RAM, DVD-ROM, 
and yeah, that's about it. Unless I can find something better. Oh man, I don't think there's anything better than what I see. Thousand dollars, wow. Okay. All right. Um, the plans I have. I have. Uh, I can actually type up on Word as I'm going here. Wait for Word to start up. But anyway, since this is going to take forever to load, I'm planning to add two more sticks of DDR2 RAM. Uh, put a Pentium D processor in it if it'll handle it. Um, upgrade the hard drive to 100 gigabyte. Uh, Windows 7 Home Premium. And probably use that as either a server or another computer for my family since, you know, the Dell 330 is actually in my room right now because I'm servicing it. So, that's going to be this video, and uh, thank you very much for watching, and uh, till next time, there's the United States.